Haven't done mail time in a while, and Fridays are the days where I like to showcase your work, and we have quite the stack happening, so let's go ahead and check a few of these out. So first up, I knew he was going to send this. So my friend Brian Kenny, he has a company called Funk Street Outfitters, and this is a bag that he made. In fact, he sent me one once before. Hold on one second. So this was his first bag. He sent this to me, and I showed it to you guys, I don't know, maybe like a year ago. This was his Everyday Commuter or EDC bag. So this is his new bag, which is the commuter case. And I'm sorry about the dark lighting. I might have to splice in some B-roll so you can actually see. This is really pretty awesome. So this is designed with the intention of, like, maximizing a mid-sized bag here that you could take stuff to work in. You could even use it after work if you're going to the gym or you could travel because this will fit on pretty much any airline as considered a personal item and it maximizes the amount of space that you're able to use in here. So this bag features this awesome tear-proof honeycomb fabric and if you use the rubberized dual zipper function here you get into the main compartment which gives you a ton of space in the main compartment. You've got two pockets here and some fabric here if you want to put keys or your wallet or something in there. And in addition to the main compartment, this also fits a side compartment, which will carry up to a 15-inch laptop. You got luggage pass-through, which basically means if you've got a roller bag with a big handle, you can stick this on top of the handle and carry everything at once. There's a mesh compartment on the side for carrying a water bottle. Stay hydrated, folks. Molly clips on the opposite side for carrying pens or anything that has a clip attachment to it. And then my favorite feature, which is this pocket on the front. There are two clasps on here. You pull down to release them. You've got two pockets here if you want to put phones or whatever you got in there. This is the best part. They're magnetic, so when you close it, they just automatically lock. And then they don't come open because you have to pull them down to release it. Pretty awesome. So that is the commuter case, and Brian has a Kickstarter that he's doing to get this into production, and I will link that below. It's very affordable. You ought to go check it out. Show him some love. I really like the bag that he sent me last year, the EDC. In fact, I'll tell you something. I still travel with this. It's perfect for something that you just need to sling over your shoulder. I think this one's pretty awesome, too, because you can get a lot more in here, and it still counts as a quote-unquote personal item on an airline. Can't wait to use this. So again, I will link him below. Brian's an awesome guy. He's very passionate about design and making cool things and so I really want to support him. So Brian, thanks for sending me the commuter case. You guys go check it out. This is probably one of the most interesting portfolios anybody has ever sent. This comes to us from Bangkok comes with a note that says, Dear Ted, my name is Piatat Hamatat. I am a photo artist and sculptor based in Bangkok, Thailand. I've been following your YouTube channel for a while. Really enjoy your content. Keep up the good work. So I don't know if many of you are old enough to remember what a stereograph or stereograph viewer is. This is pretty cool. Whoa. Not only that, but Piatot took this a step further. So the middle of this disc, you're not going to view in the viewfinder, but it is translucent because it's all just using the same material. That is wicked. Okay, I've got to figure a way. I'm not sure I can get these in the video. All right, let's try here. It's not going to work. Oh, wait, I bet you my iPhone will do it. I'm going to have to splice in some footage, but let's try this. Okay, Piatot, I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of your name, which I do apologize for. This is awesome. This is one of the most creative portfolios that I've ever seen. You guys take notes on this. So here's the deal. You know, you're a photographer. You want to share your work. You want to get it noticed. And so you put together a book or some kind of traditional portfolio or prints, and there's nothing wrong with that. But going the extra mile to get this done, I mean, this was probably not inexpensive to put together. 
signature on the front there. Uh, but wow, what an impression. I mean, this is actually fun. Like, I want to go show this to people. I want to share it with you guys. This is like, this is really awesome. So, Pietat, thanks for sending the stereo viewfinder. This is very cool. This comes to us from Lee's Summit, Missouri, which is the home of one of my favorite guitar players, Pat Metheny. I hope that Taylor gets that reference. Anyway, it says, Dear Ted, longtime follower, first time caller. Hope your summer is going well. All of your recent videos about Hasselblads and then your philosophical questioning about where this art form is headed made me want to send you some film. I bought over 100 rolls of expired film and haven't even shot five rolls since I got it two years ago, so I'm hoping you can make good use of it. You inspire many. Taylor, expired film is always fun. We have some Kodak, Portra 400 VC, Agfa Ultra Color 50, which by the way, you can't get anymore. You know what, Taylor? Thanks. I can always use some expired film. This will be fun to play with. Next up is a tote bag and this little gift. Ah, it's a zine called Ausler, Sir shutter button and I've got a little note here on the back that says dear Ted I'm sending you here our first photography magazine called Auslerser shutter button from Vienna Austria this is the first issue the second will come out in September we focus on very personal long-form interviews with photographers I hope you enjoy the magazine love your YouTube channel all the best Sebastian and team Sebastian, excellent work. Thank you for sharing. I will put a link to this in the show description, so check him out. Quite an international show today. This comes to us from Switzerland from Roland Walter, and he writes, Hi, Ted. I'm a frequent viewer of your show and passionate photographer from Switzerland, as I know you are a big fan of photography books as much as I am. In the box, you will find my first book, in which, I, which has just been released. I hope that you like what you see. Best regards from Switzerland. Roland. gorgeous. I really love the color interpretations that are in here. I can tell you spent a lot of time on this. Really nicely done. I will put a link up to this in the show description as well. Check him out. Okay, this is super quirky. It's very handmade and I absolutely love it. This comes to us from Robert Platkow and he writes a little note here that says, Dear Ted, I enjoy your channel, especially Mail Fridays. I don't know if this is work that matters, but to paraphrase a line in one of my favorite Robert Redford movies, there comes a time in your life when you think about leaving something behind, even if it's only a scalp to hang on some man's lodgepole. Maybe you'll find something worth hanging on your lodgepole, Robert. Bob, this is awesome. Thank you. These are some pretty great black and white images, and I want to address something that Robert put in his note here. He wrote, I don't know if this is work that matters. Well, you know what? 
it is work that matters. I, you know, work that matters is anything that is special to you. And that's one of the things that I love most about sharing work on here is that I can see what's special to you guys and that you think enough of it that you want to share it with the rest of the world. And so you send it to me and I share it on the show. So man, everybody, thanks for sending stuff in. That's it for today. I will catch you guys in the next video. Until then, later.